Yes, you're a teacher assigned you to do an avid binder. What do you have to do to get 100? Well, we'll show you. Hi, avid Puma. So this is your wonderful binder. In the first pocket, you're going to have your binder check sheet. You're going to grab this before you turn in your binder. This is what the tutors use. So if you follow all of this, you're going to get 100%. So we're going to look at the paper and supplies section. This is your pencil pouch. In every pencil pouch, you're going to have at least two pencils. Two pens, either black or blue. I have two black pens. And you're going to have two highlighters uh, that are two different colors. I have yellow and green. And this is going to be your planner. So this will help you organize what you need to do for the day. You're going to write down what you did and what you have to do for every six periods. And this is going to be for every day of the week. If you don't have any uh, homework for that day, you can just write down what you did in class. A tip to try and get ahead of this, you can write down what you did at the end of every period or at when you get home. And here you're going to have five pieces of paper. Try to restock like every week. That way you always have some on hand. Now th these are your focus notes or Cornell notes. You're going to have three to four questions that pertain to your notes. In the top right corner, you're going to have your name date and period, all in pen, and your subject slash header is going to be uh, what you did, what, what the topic's about. And this is where you're going to take your notes. You're going to have your highlighter and your summary, three to four sentences about what you learned. So you can do it on this sheet of paper provided, or you can do it on your line sheet of paper. Just make sure that it has all the components that you saw previously. Now, as we flip to the dividers, you're going to have one divider for every class period. And this is where you're going to store all of your notes, important papers, assignments, um, and their respective dividers. That way, it's all neat and organized. With that being said, you're going to have nothing in your pockets when these binders are turned in, except for your binder sheet that your tutors need to be able to grade your work. All right, Pumas. Go get them. Oh, hey, you're back. So that means you know how to get an A on your next binder. See you later. Thanks for watching.